Hey Battle Pays, welcome back to another vlog. It's me, Andrea, and you got Trey sitting over here. What up, what up, what up? And he just, I'm about to drop him back off at the airport. Yeah, he's been here for a little bit, my boo-boo, my baby. <laughs> but we just finished <laughs> we just finished filming a video and low-key, we gotta hit the road. I just wanted to go ahead and get a vlog started. And we gonna discuss a little bit more what this vlog gonna be about later, but right now, I gotta get this man to the airport, so. We gonna see y'all in a little bit, okay? Trying to make me miss my flight over here, bro. I'm I mean, kid, trying to kidnap me. I wouldn't mind. I gotta get this goddamn boot off my foot. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna see y'all in a little hey, bit. Y'all, what's up? A quick little update. I just dropped Trey off at the airport, and it's always bittersweet. Like, I just want him to stay here. Like, I just want him to be here. But now I am rushing home, y'all, because oh my gosh, I accidentally left his suitcase sitting outside of the car i left his suitcase sitting outside of the car because before we took off we had filmed the dual military couples video we just filmed that and i ended up putting the suitcase outside of the car because i didn't want it like super big in the back where you can like just see it in the video and so i was supposed to put it back in the car obviously before we took off and we were rushing and like we are literally at the airport when he's like oh my god you won't believe it I realized I forgot it so I'm hoping it's there because that's all of his stuff in that suitcase his um, what about him the ps5 his ps5 is in there um, his clothes all like his expensive stuff his look his leg thing to like prop his leg up because obviously he just had surgery all of his stuff is in this freaking suitcase and I left it outside sitting just sitting outside and then I'm on a slope obviously at home like the driveway is on a slope and I had it sitting on a driveway so I'm hoping it didn't like you know roll down into the street like I'm just trying to get home and I still have 25 minutes to drive and I'm about to start speeding again because why are we moving so slow but yeah I'm gonna see if I have enough time to take it to UPS and just ship it off to him that way it's there in a few days I feel horrible I feel I feel so bad. I don't know. I just feel bad. So, yeah, I'm going to try to get it there as soon as I can get it there. But, yeah, just a quick little update on that. I feel, I feel so bad. How did I forget? But I'm going to see y'all later. It's so many trucks out right now. Like, it took me... I, my nerves are not where they need to be for this nonsense right now. I'm trying to hurry up home, y'all. Hold on. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. All right, y'all. Let's see. Let's see if the suitcase is still here. I'm so nervous. Y'all don't even understand. I feel horrible. Horrible. Just, just horrible. Plain horrible. Come on. Come on. Oh my gosh. Hello. 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 Oh, thank God. He's there. <laughs> oh my God. Woo! Y'all. Damn. It's on camera. <laughs> Y'all, I just got situated and I'm about to head to UPS. Well, I'm heading to UPS now. But I wanna stop at Starbucks first because I need something, uh, some something. I don't want any food. Ooh, you know what? I am gonna stop at Dunkin'. Cause I was thinking I wanted either a brown sugar oatmeal shake and espresso or a chai latte on ice, but I want a matcha. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm about to go ahead and go to Dunkin' Donuts, get a matcha latte on a large matcha latte on ice with extra matcha, eight scoops of the matcha. Okay, Let's see if people wanna act crazy out here. Um, yeah. That's all I'm gonna get. But y'all, this vlog honestly isn't gonna be about anything crazy, I don't think. But, but I am excited about tomorrow morning because y'all, y'all remember when I told y'all I got accepted into nursing school. I am still just 
beyond grateful. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to just start. And I, like, I'm just blessed to even have the opportunity. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is something that I've been working towards for so long. And only if y'all knew how many times I applied and how many schools I applied to for an LPN to RN program. And I'm finally, after two years of trying, I am finally accepted into a nursing school. God, I'm so excited. So tomorrow is my mandatory in-person orientation and I have to be there. It's from 10 o'clock to 2 p.m. And like I said, it's mandatory. I already cleared it with my chain of command and I'm gonna be completely honest with y'all. Even if they said no, I was just gonna go missing because one thing about it, you're not gonna mess up. I'm not letting anybody mess up this this opportunity for me because there's no way. And what chain of command wouldn't be behind that? Like that would have been so stupid because there was like talk, talking about, oh, do you have this training done? Do you have that training done? Do you have this done? Even if I didn't, I'm going, I'm going. You don't understand the work and the effort that I put behind getting into this school. I'm going. And I'm not trying to sound like a shitty soldier at all. Even if they would have said no, I still was going to go. I was going to find any excuse. I don't care if I had to lie and say that I had six appointments that day. I was going to make it to this orientation because I don't think y'all understand how big of a deal this is to me and how hard I worked for this, how hard I prayed for this, and now it's here. Because I won't lie, what chain of command wouldn't be okay with that though you know i'm on my way out of the army my post military plan is school if i'm telling you i got accepted into a school why would there be any pushback or any debate for me to go to the mandatory orientation for the school that i just got selected to so i don't lose my slap why would there be any type of in ifs or or maybes like it made no sense I'm, like i said i'm not trying to sound like a shitty person but at some point mm -mm, i'm Mm -mm. I'm too close to I can't think like a soldier at this point because I'm on my way out there's no recovery for me I'm getting out of the army so I have to worry about myself and I have to take care of my my post army self because it's coming very 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 soon so um yeah other than that other than that I'm so excited um I want to get home and get like just comfortable situated and stuff like that so I can just relax and then wake up in the morning and head to my organization. I'm so excited for this. <laughs> oh God, I spent $128. I spent $128 doll hairs on the shipping, but they worked with me. When I say it's vibes in there, y'all. They were so nice. <laughs> I love people with a sense of humor. Anywho, Yes, I spent $128 shipping it off and they was like really finessing it to get me the best like price they could possibly get me. So that was perfectly fine. And it was insured with the amount it would cost to cover his gaming system if something were to happen. So I'm okay with that. Um, uh, Let me see. I want, is this two different stores? Oh. I won't lie, I was low key irritated because as I'm walking in, y'all, when I say I have the meanest look on my face, because there's some dude that work in here, and as I'm walking up, he's like staring me down. And I used to do this thing where somebody is like staring at me because they're obviously like interested, which, okay, that's cool. But the staring used to make me so nervous and so self conscious. Like I would look at the ground, I would take out my phone and do whatever. And I think because of that reason, they would like approach and want to talk to me anyway. I don't, I did not understand it, but it used to make me so uncomfortable these days all I do is <laughs> I'm just kidding. these days he's looking at me and I looked away for a second look again and he's like looking me down trying to make it obvious that okay he's interested and when I said just just walking straight up to the damn door looking at him like and then he ended up walking over to go into the door I guess that he was going in and I just stood there staring at his ass cuz the fuck are you looking at who are you staring down? <sighs> anyway, that's my attitude these days. But I think I'm go. the friend's table is behind me and I'm trying to figure out if I want to hmm, do I want to get some deviled eggs? Like, is that something I really need right now? 
there's tasty crab there's the friends table there's the sushi court like there's so many things i can get around here right now but i don't know every single time i drive past there's def defy defy over here a def defy i don't know that's probably what it's called um but it's the little trampoline park the little jump in place and i cannot wait to bring the kids back here every single time i see it i can't wait to get the kids back anyway let me park for a quick second and see what I want to do while I'm over here. Hmm. Wait. I don't even think they're open. They don't look open. I don't think they're open, but then the sushi place is open. I don't know if I want that though. Oh, you know what? Let me think. Or a I hate that I had to spend that money. Y'all, can y'all like subscribe to my channel and like watch my videos so I can like, I don't know, start getting paid again. <laughs> Even though I really do, I genuinely do YouTube because it's a hobby of mine, just like talking to y'all and showing y'all my business and feeling like I'm like, I don't know, my own little TV show that I get to film and direct and do all these other little things with whether or not somebody watches. But it was nice when I was making some money. I won't lie, it was a little nice. Listen, let me just go to the PX real quick and then be on my way home. And honestly, I'm just trying to pass time because it is 1741. So 100% there's still a lot of traffic going towards my house. So I'm just not trying to sit in it. So I'm gonna see y'all at the PX. So y'all, I'm just up in there. It's a sunset behind me. I don't even know if y'all can see that. Obviously you can't see it. Can you see it there? Look at it. It's so pretty. Ah. Ah. Hey y'all, what's up? I just finished getting unready and I just threw on this sweatshirt that Trey left here. It smells so much like him. Um, <clears throat> now I gotta run downstairs because I got some Amazon packages. And I hope it hurry up and warm up in here because it is still cold. Anywho, I should have bought my tripod down here. But, um, should I take this stuff upstairs? Now I'm gonna open it right here. So as far as what I got from Amazon today, so y'all, I am not sure about these nails because I ordered, so I ordered these. It's like the X, what is this? The X code, it's supposed to be the, the BT art, the BTART box nails. And it says soft gel soak off. 160 pieces 16 sizes so it's this here and i won't lie this cost me like 30 something dollars and when i was looking at it i was wondering why it cost that much i was thinking i was just getting like one set so i can kind of see what's up and they sent me this all of these i didn't realize it had all the different colors in here because i only wanted the brown colored one but I don't know how to think about these. I don't know what to think because there was really good reviews on them. But these are just really flimsy feeling and looking. Like I don't I don't know what to expect. Like is what do I do with these? Um so I don't think I'm gonna like do in like do anything tonight. So first of all, let me back up because this was the bumble set that i got it was like just like the the i guess they called it like the gel x dupe or something like that but it's basically just a press on that you use gel curing gel glue to put on and when i say these look so much better than the dip that i was doing they were so much easier they were so much quicker i honestly just didn't like the shape i do like these because I can just put them on. It was super simple. And then just put a coat of paint on them. And they just look really good. If I can learn how to paint my nails correctly. But other than that. And they last. Like I've had these on. 
I've had these on for going on two weeks, over two weeks now. Look at y'all. They're growing out finally a little bit. Can you see that? But I've had these for quite some time. And I actually have the same thing on my toes as well. And when I say these, they ain't going nowhere. They, they, they not going nowhere. Like they don't bend. They are very sturdy. So I really, really like those. Um, but these are very flimsy. I mean, I feel like the tip of these are a little bit thicker. So that's nice. Like they don't bend. It's, mm, they might be okay. They might work. But I'm obviously not doing it tonight. So I just don't feel like it, honestly. I might do it at some point this weekend. I really should have got some food before I came home. I'm trying to think if I want to go and grab something. Because I do not feel like cooking. So... I also got some nail dehydrator and primer. And this one had really good reviews, which is the reason I got this one. Come on, how do I open it? And I also got the, the so this Beatles brand, I love. Like I, you probably saw this on Amazon at some point if you ever considered trying to learn how to do your nails, but I actually really, really, really like this brand. A majority of the stuff that I have so far came from the Beatles line. So I'm super happy about that. And this is the glue. So I bought two, I want to see how big these are, but I bought two more of the glue, the gel curing glue. What, what is it? It's the nail glue for nail tips. It's the soak off UV curing light, whatever. Okay. Cause I was thinking they were going to be small, but these are just regular size. So that is perfect. Cause I feel like the one that came in the Bumbles kit that I have was small. So that's perfect. And then what is this? Ooh, this is, um, so again, the other thing that came with the Bumbles, um, gel -X set type of thing was a little curing light which is fine, but the space I feel between it, even though it seems bigger than all of the other flash curing lights, I needed something with a little bit more space. So I ended up buying this rose looking one because it had really good reviews. And you just sit it up like this. Hold on, let me see. Oh, it's already charged. So hold on, let me show y'all. Okay, let's go ahead and turn it off. So you get the nail, you put the glue or whatever on the nail, you kind of stick it on and so it stays, you just stick it under there, cure it for about 60 seconds and then you move on to the next one. And then after you're done putting all of them on, then you um, cure with the big curing light and I have that one as well. So this is perfect, <gasps> this is perfect. It's perfect. I'm so happy about that. Oh my gosh. My gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited about that. Being silly. Look at Sam. Sam. What are you doing? What are you doing? Being nosy. Oh yeah. So those are the newer things that I bought. There's other things that I bought that I didn't show y'all yet. So I'll probably show y'all that like tomorrow or something when I start um, doing my nails. But this also comes with it. So this is rechargeable. That's what I really like about this. This is rechargeable. It comes with a charger. This is so good. I love it. Um. So yeah. I'm honestly trying to figure out what I want to eat. <sighs> I kind of want to go to McDonald's. <laughs> That's not good, but I kind of want to just go get a quick sandwich and just call it a day. I'm so happy to report back that before I took my makeup off, I had tried that concealer that I bought. First of all, I love window shopping. I feel like I told y'all that before, but I actually really enjoy window shopping. So if any of y'all out here, y'all want to go window shopping with me one day, just let me know. 
it's, it's, it's just the satisfy. I don't know. I don't even know what it is. I don't, cause I'll probably buy like one or two things. But when I say the amount of money I be spending in my head, woo! I think I'm a millionaire or something. But um, yeah, I just, I don't know, y'all. I feel. I feel like shit. I ain't gonna even lie. I don't even know why I keep coming on here. Cause I just, every single time Trey leaves and I have to drop him back off at the airport, I just get so down once I get back. I just hate it. And I'm trying to keep up with my energy, but I just hate this so much. I have to come back to this quiet house. I have to come back to this bed just by myself. Cause that'd be good, like. <sighs> I just be missing him so much instantly like and then it's like I start feeling like that when even like a day or so before he leaves I just be so down because I'm like oh here we go again I just have to be here just by myself it's just I don't know. it's just always so nice having him around I just can't wait. Like, I <sighs> just breathe through it. But, I don't know. It sucks. It sucks a lot. Long distance is not easy. I don't recommend it at all. Zero out of ten recommend. It's so stupid. What are you doing, crazy? But, oh gosh, I keep forgetting to put my phone on the charger. I got 6% and I'm trying to go to McDonald's. Good thing it's right across the street. So, anyway, what are you doing, crazy? What are you doing? Oh, look at this weirdo. What are you doing? You want to see? I mean, uh, cute it. No, not today. Okay, whatever. Anyway, um, I feel like I've been talking long enough, and I really gotta go get my McDonald's. And don't judge me because I still eat McDonald's. Judge Mama because I'ma stay eating my. Double cheeseburgers with no pickles, even though my stomach hates me afterwards. I'ma still eat it. I'ma eat it. <laughs> mm, it smells so good. Mm. All right, y'all. I'm about to go to McDonald's. And I'ma probably just see y'all in the morning when I'm getting ready to go to my school orientation. I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Today is the day, and I am so tired. I've woke up exhausted before, but this was unbearable. I wanted it to be up 30 minutes ago, but it's fine. Good thing I was trying to over plan and trying to wake up all early and stuff like that. So, either way, so either way, I'm gonna be there early still. I wasn't going to do much anyway. I'm trying to figure out if I want to like, let's see. I'm thinking, what do I want to wear? I don't even know what I want to wear, y'all. But I'm thinking I do want to make myself look like 
something something so let me hurry up and get up so i can figure out what i'm putting on i am going to put on some makeup today because i want to try out this concealer and i'm gonna see y'all when i am ready to pick this camera back up because when i say y'all i am so tired i am so tired it's so crazy because i was going to pick up a shift for yesterday after I dropped Trey off in tonight and Saturday. And I'm so glad I didn't. But let me get up, go to the bathroom, brush my teeth, all that good stuff. And I'm going to talk to y'all in a little bit. All right, I just finished getting ready. Got my earrings in. Got my cuffs in. And then I put on this gray one piece. Let me show y'all. I put on this gray one piece. So this is what I'm wearing today cute um this gray cardigan sweater jacket thing my white nikes and then i'm going to be carrying this black kohan purse so i just put everything in here and as far as my scents what did i put on i put on love don't be shy love don't be shy because i have this little um hold on i have a sample y'all first of all when i pack when I pack, I have these from Amazon, these little things here. Oh, shit. These little things here. And I'm just now finding them all over the place with like full of perfume. So now I'm just trying to use those all up before I start touching anything else. Let me grab my headphones over here. I'm also going to take my backpack. Yeah. Yeah, I'm also going to take my backpack. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and head out the door. We're not running late. Like, I'm not going to be late, but I do want to stop and get some food. And that might put me 30 minutes before I need to be there, which is perfect. But I still need to walk and find, like, the building I actually have to be in. So let's go. Should I call first? I can't decide. I want to, but a bitch got pride. Only going to what you allow. You don't want this gun smoke. Better text with your nose and your thumb. I'm here. I'm here. And I am sweating like crazy. I this is a normal thing for me at this point. Good thing I got these McDonald's napkins. Gosh, oh my god, I'm so sweaty. Look how sweaty I am. Look at this. Look at this. Why am I this sweaty? Okay. Maybe if I turn this heat off, that'll help. Um got hash browns all over the place. Where's my backpack? No, I need my other deodorant because this is cray cray. That's why I keep this in a car. This Dove. Because, I mean, I use the... Um, I like to use... What the heck is it? My Native. But sometimes when it's that anxiety sweat and it's just all over the place, mm -mm. Native is not going to cut it. We need Dove in the house. Dove. Okay, now that I'm here... Let me make sure. I'm, hope my makeup looks okay still. Um, where's that email? So I am going to. So it has the Smith Health Science Building. I'm pretty sure that's this. And then it says room two eleven. So let me hurry up because I also got a pee. So I'm gonna try to um. I got 10 minutes to be in the room, so I'm about to walk in the building. Now I gotta pee, so I'm gonna go pee. Let me get my debit card. What is this? So, um, my debit card, my ID. I got my headphones. You know what? Where's my headphones? And then put some lip gloss on. Now I see why the people be making those reels and um, memes about how girls get in and out of the car. Because why am I doing all this right now? Okay. What is, is that on my face? What is that? Hmm. I don't know what the heck. Anyway. Um, 
good. And then when I put this purse on, I like to put it on under my jacket. Like that. Oh, I almost forgot my car key. Okay, let's go. You may want to contact the merchant in writing requesting to stop automatic payments from debiting your USAA bank account. This is called revoking authorization. A potential benefit of contacting the merchant to cancel your agreement may include preventing future transactions to be posted to your account from this merchant. Submit the request to stop payment. Okay. Now, do you have any questions or concerns regarding your dispute or the request to stop payment? No, not at this moment. All right. Well, thank you so much for... Y'all, so before I tell y'all what that was about, good things first. So I just finished up with the mandatory orientation at school and I won't lie, I'm a bit overwhelmed. Is is I'm I'm overwhelmed because there's so much it's so much that still needs to be done. There's so much money that still needs to be spent. I mean, obviously I kind of knew the money thing was coming. But there's still so much that needs to be done and like there's these deadlines and some of those deadlines are in like a few days so what oh my god what am i gonna do i you know what i'm i gotta go home and sit down and figure this out but for the not so good things y'all so i wanted to go all right so the thing is we have certain scrubs that we have to wear certain colors from a specific place. Cool, while I was here, because it took me an hour and 30 minutes to drive out here. So while I was here, I wanted to just get my scrubs out of the way and be done with that. And then there's um, other things that I have to buy like online, uh, what is it, tools and stuff like that to do my background check, clinicals and stuff like that. Cool, I was gonna knock all that out while I was still here in the the city that i'm in i don't even know where i'm at to be completely honest y'all why i get in a car i go to just to check to see how much money i have because i can't keep emphasizing with you guys like your girl be low on funds okay i'm on a strict budget i'm getting myself back where i need to be this year so i'm supposed to have about 900 ish dollars and well i'm anticipating i'm anticipating to because I, I mean i did buy the hash browns this morning i did buy the what is it the hash browns and the orange juice i bought that this morning i still have some things on auto pay so maybe something came out that you know i wasn't thinking of but usually i have a pretty good idea on what i'm supposed to see in my account so expecting to see about 850 800 and 800 eight anywhere from 850 to 890 i'm expecting to see that in my account y'all i log in i see 31 dollars and 71 cents in my account mm, i almost had a heart attack because that's all the money i need to do the things that i have to do for school to last me the next few weeks i'm like what what the hell is happening on top of that i just had to stop and get gas because obviously in the clip i showed y'all while i was on my way here i was running out of gas and i'm like all right i'm gonna wait until after the orientation to get gas no the money's gone so i'm i literally clutched my pearls y'all and i'm not even wearing pearls and i'm like what where did it come from there there i didn't have any bills due that would be within that amount so i'm looking through my transactions and i see a charge from target online for 400 something dollars and like three charges from target online for like 97 dollars 90 like 90 in the 90s all today all this morning and mind you it ain't me because I ain't shopped in Target in forever. If I'm going to be shopping at Target, it's not going to be online. And two, I've been on the road since about seven something. So I didn't have time to place these orders. I've been in orientation and I'm freaking out because here I am. I have $31 in my account. I I need to get home. Like, how am I supposed to put gas in my car? Um, so I call USAA and I'm trying to figure out what's going on because I saw that the big charge of the one that was like 400 something It was already reversed. It's like they try. I don't know. I don't know why maybe I don't know why it was reversed Maybe they I don't know. I don't know why USAA ended up reversing it But I saw that that one at the very least was reversed 
So I'm calling to do a dispute and I'm also calling to say, hey, it says that this was already refunded. Can you make this reflect in my account? Because I, I need to get home. Like I need access to some type of funds right now. And um, the lady, she's like talking me through it. She's like, look, make sure you're not using your card. Like, I, like she's basically telling me what's up. She's like, I hear so many things since I've been working at the bank when it comes to stuff like this, that there's so many things that I just do not do anymore. And so many things that she tell her husband not to do anymore for this exact reason. And I'm like, I usually like I don't insert my card anywhere I'm usually tapping my card and she's like no they can they can definitely do it that way too and that's what they do as soon as they get the information they log into like online online stores and try to hurry up and order as much stuff as they possibly can before anybody notice I can tell because what so y'all I was just stressed out and she's like hey you know it's gonna be okay you know I, I know it's frustrating but we can get you the money back um so she's like and we can try to find out and see if there's like any addresses attached to the orders and i'm like all right so then she's like how about this try to find a gas station and see if you can at least put the 30 something dollars in your account that way once that way you at least have that because once i put these disputes through your card is obviously going to be closed down and i'm like all right so i had to find i had to gps and find a freaking gas station because again this is not my area i don't live around here and i put the 31 something in my account which it got me past almost full so that that works but as i'm on a phone she's like she's like she's like um miss augustine i see that the 400 something just reversed so i would go to the go to the atm as well and take out money to a really small gas station and their max i was able to take out was only 200 so at least i have 200 in cash right now but yeah i don't know like i this was i hate this for myself so much but you know what it's fine and i'm just frustrated because i really wanted to like get my scrubs and get this stuff out of the way so i wasn't taking this drive back and forth i do have to be back out here august what is it august 15th for um clinical skill evaluation and then again for the 19th because that's the first day of school but other than that i'm just like now i gotta drive all the way out here before that so i can get my scrubs because we have to get it from a specific store that's only here where i was just at so that's kind of frustrating because i actually want to try on my scrubs to see you know what fits and what don't and stuff like that instead of ordering online and have to ship it back and yeah this was frustrating i i know people say this happens and scammers this and skimmers and stuff like that never knew it would happen to me this has been the most craziest thing like uh, and what the hell are, uh, whatever i don't know i'm upset but yeah i have about an hour and 26 minutes to drive home so i'm about to call trey and tell him what just happened and not to use his cards at the pump y'all i'm telling y'all don't use y'all cards at the pump do not use y'all cards at the pump i don't even know like honestly even then like because they can put these things anywhere right she said it's just a little bit safer to go inside to um ask to pay for your gas like go inside and pay for your gas that way it's it, it's more it's more it's going through more trouble especially when you have kids in a car and you don't leave the kids in the car and stuff like that but i'm telling you I'm pretty sure if I would have had more money in my account, they would have ran it up. They would have ran this shit up. They would have ran it up. They would have kept placing orders until I had literally nothing in my account like they just did. Like, this is insane. So, just make sure y'all being careful with y'all freaking cards and stuff like that. And look at my face. Because, ugh, I had a phone smudging all over my face trying to talk to USAA. But, yeah, I'm going to see y'all later. Y'all, I'm in the McDonald's parking lot. And when I say... I am so tired. Like, I can barely keep my eyes open. I'm low-key mad I gotta go home and take off this makeup because I just wanna get in a bed, eat this freaking burger I'm about to buy, and don't say nothing to me about constantly coming to McDonald's. I know I should not be in this McDonald's drive through I could've went home and made some sausage and eggs, but I'm telling you right now, I am so tired. I just want to sit down and not do anything right now. Right. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Three o'clock. Thank you. 
Yeah. Hey y'all, what's up? So it is like I want it's like a week or so later. It's probably like two weeks later at this point. Like since you saw that last clip, it's been <laughs> Some time has passed, y'all. Some time has passed. But I'm going to tell y'all this right now. When I say I've been all over the place, I've been ripping and running like crazy. Life, after I came, like, why is life so stressful right now? Like, I just have way too many things going on. I'm not complaining because they're finally at least... At least they're the things that I want to be going on. They're good things. But it's still so busy. It's still so stressful. And when I say so many appointments, I'm so sick of tired of having appointments, y'all. I'm so sick of having appointments. And right when I thought I was almost done with my appointments, I have another two pages of appointments on the board now. So between those appointments and my VA appointments, mm -mm, mm -mm. It's been stressful. Anywho. Anywho. I wanted to come back because I did tell you that I wanted to talk to y'all about the orientation that I went to. And some of the stuff that I have to do. Still. Even though I've already been selected. I've already accepted my seat and stuff in the, mo in the nursing program that I got accepted into. What I wasn't expecting is to have another whole entire to-do list of things to do before class even start. So I can keep my seat so that's what i've been working on and honestly that's what's been so stressful and i have my list right here now before i get into the to-do list the orientation itself it wasn't bad at all um we came in we we're just talking about just pretty much everything um the program kind of what to expect in a program um how we're going to get assigned our preceptors, scheduling. The only thing that we didn't, or maybe I missed it, but we really didn't go into detail with is, I feel like they did mention it and I got to figure out how I can reach out to them so I can double check. But as far as scheduling, like week to week, day to day, like how many times out of the week do I have to drive here like on campus because that drive for me is an hour and a half which to be completely honest I can't complain because there's a girl in, that's going to be in the program with me who's driving from Atlanta it's like a good four or five hour drive every time you have to come back and forth so it I'm under the assumption that it's not going to be too often but I still need to know you know because um I'm trying to be working and everything else so I need to get that schedule down so I'm going to try to call them at some point today just so I can see you know what mm, I'm gonna have to wait until Monday they're closed on Fridays I believe that's just so great anyway so yeah that's the only thing that I need to figure out other than that we went over the supplies and stuff that we're going to need the cost for the books fifteen hundred dollars for the package it's just like I'm just I'm so sick of spending money. Um, we have to get liability insurance. They went over the uniforms and stuff that we have to do. And everything is in the checklist. They were really helpful. I felt like I left. I went there with like anxiety and just not knowing what to expect coming into the program. And I ended up leaving and I was okay. The only thing that stressed me out a little bit was... Hold on, y'all. Because this is just all the paperwork they gave us. But this, this, hold on. I'm pretty sure y'all already know what school I'm going to. I feel like I slipped up and said it at some point. But I'm trying to, this. I don't know if you can see that, but this is about four or five, maybe even six pages. This is home. This is basically a test. This is what we're practicing for because we have to take a pharmacology test on the first day of school is August 15th. We have to take a pharmacological test on that day. I'm not ready. I'm going to be ready though. I'm going to be ready, but I'm not ready because farm. when I went through LPN school, farm, farm, pharmacology was my weakest i mean absolute weakest if i could tell y'all one thing if you're about to get ready to go to 68 charlie school lpn school whatever the case may be 
brush up on your way because there's different ways to work out there's different techniques to work out these different formulas to come up with the dosages and stuff that you need to know so go ahead and start brushing up on the way you do it now because as long as you can do it in a way that gets you the right answer that's honestly all that matters they're not it's not like the the school like the elementary middle schools today where it's like you got to show your work and it better be the showing your work part better be right no as long as you get the correct answer so that's what i have to do with that i have to go ahead and brush up on the way that works for me don't even remember <laughs> completely did not realize that i was gonna have to go through this again but it is what it is and then on the 15th of august we have skills test out so we have all of these packets can you of course you can't see that so we have all of these skills packets that we have to basically test out on when we get there on the 15th so yeah that's pretty much what's been going on um aside from work everything is going pretty good everything is going so great we have less than i think about less than 20 about 15 14 days before trey finally gets here i did my i finished up my last va appointment so things are going right along y'all things are going right along i'm super excited about that yeah yeah well yeah everything's going pretty good i just can't wait to take a break i just can't wait to get a breather because this is like it's like the everything is just happening at one time like i don't have a time to sit down and breathe it's crazy because i re I really be sitting there thinking like when can i take a break like what would be a good stopping point so i can get a quick break but right now i don't see one i don't see one because everything is like boom 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 just coming and so i have to kind of wait for everything to kind of mellow out before i can do any type of extracurricular activities i am going to the gym though I am going to the gym. I ended up going to court this morning because I had a freaking ticket for my tents. <laughs> I got some real dark tents in my car. Um, they threw the ticket out. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you so much. I was praying on my way there because um, that's just $300 I don't want to spend. I was super excited about that. I sat and I did my CPR stuff just literally just now. Did a few errands that I have to do, like sending emails and stuff online. I finally got back on with one of the agencies to do LPN work that I was on with the last time. And I think I actually found a location where I'm going to be working. So I'm super excited about that. I'm just trying to narrow down to... Um, I'm just trying to nail down the details when it comes to the ratio, um, the charting system, stuff like that, and what my schedule is going to look like on those days that I do work because I've already calculated it in my head and how much I'm going to be making per hour. I'm only going to be working eight shifts out of the month. So that perfect. I My goal was to work no more than three days out of the week to hit the income amount that I wanted and look at me I only have to work two days a week so that worked out perfectly fine came over I just got some Starbucks I'm actually just finishing that now which is kind of stupid I should never got this because I'm going to the gym after this in less than a week I take the TMC again I'm going to keep taking the TMC because I'm going for high cut I'm going for my RRT so y'all wish me luck this time I feel like I've been studying a lot especially when it comes to these formulas and I feel like I'm a little bit more confident I feel like I'm a little bit more I, I'm I feel like at this point when I look at a calculation it's a 80 percent chance that i'm going to know what i'm doing so i'm just hoping that puts me that i am I'm, I'm hoping that put just enough more information in my head to get me past that high cut so we'll see but that was it that's all i had for this vlog i just wanted to come on and close it out i promised y'all that i was going to come back and talk to y'all about my orientation so that's what i did oh by the way i did get all my money and stuff back when they skinned my card i did get all my money back i got a new card all of that stuff all as well i'm just very paranoid now when i'm going to pay for absolutely anything because i just don't want nobody to take my money we worked too hard for our money to, for somebody to just be stealing it like come on anyway um yeah that's it for this vlog guys 
like comment and subscribe if you haven't already just go ahead and check and see if you are subscribed if you aren't go ahead and hit that subscribe button especially if this is at least two of my videos that you've seen so far hit that subscribe button we are on a road to 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year and I just really want to hit that I, I want to hit that goal that's the goal that I want to hit I'm noticing that it's a majority of y'all that watch my videos but y'all don't subscribe to my channel and i'm just asking oh so nicely for y'all to subscribe to my channel because y'all i have a goal i want to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year and i know we can do it i know we can do it i feel like I f I f we can do it we can do it i've also been noticing that some of y'all have been unsubscribing to me which i get it i get it i get it it was nice having y'all here by the way but if you feel like it's time for you to go, that's perfectly fine. I know for a lot of my OGs, a lot of y'all followed me because I was making military content. I stopped really making military content a little bit ago. And because obviously I'm on my way out of the military, um, I, just, I just don't have it on my heart to make military content. And if I do pop out a military video here and there, that's because I just really wanted to. I just really had something to say. So... I'm I'm sorry to disappoint you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I low-key feel like a failure myself. Like, I didn't make it. I mean, I made it. It's coming up on eight years. May 9th would be eight years for me. Let's hope I at least make it to eight years, an even number, right? But, yeah, that this chapter of my life is over. The book is closed. I'm opening a completely different one. And I just hope that you guys stay along and just, you know, see see, see it through. See it through. We just, we just adjust the fire just a little bit. It's a little bit but if you want to see nursing school content nursing content especially somebody that is now in their 30s y'all i must be in my 30s in nursing school i'm so scared <laughs> but that's it that's it i don't want to rant too long i'm gonna go ahead and see y'all in my next video bye <laughs>